From Toronto to London to Hong Kong, smart cities are now a reality in many parts of the world. New York is a major player, using smart technology to track the 1 billion gallons of water that its 8.5 million residents use every day around the area, while providing individuals with the ability to monitor their use. Singapore has established a traffic management system called One Monitoring, where people can access traffic information obtained from surveillance cameras and taxis throughout the city. Another feature in Singapore, which is also in use in many other smart cities around the world, is the real-time monitoring of the availability of car parking spaces. Barcelona still uses city-wide software, but with the goal of keeping people up to date with what local governments are up to. They also continue to work on providing free Wi-Fi in the area. Smart cities are becoming a prominent part of our daily lives, but what is so exceptional about the one we are going to talk about today? To know everything about the future of our new living systems, stay tuned till the end of the video. Danish architecture studio Big unveiled its new invention, the Toyota Woven City, the first company to operate in Japan. Nestled on the foothills of Mount Fuji, the project in partnership with Toyota Motor Corporation is the world's first urban incubator to drive forward the growth and advancement of mobility. The Japanese auto giant said it would turn the 175-acre site of a former car factory in Japan into a prototype city of the future, where autonomous vehicles, futuristic street design, and smart home technology, robotics, and modern mobility devices could be tested on a population of real people who would live there full-time. The site will be designed by renowned Danish architect Bjerke Ingels. It will house up to 2,000 people, including Toyota employees and their families, and will be fueled by the company's hydrogen fuel cell technology. Toyota CEO Akio Toyoda told CES that the company plans to break the ground by the end of 2021. Planned as a living laboratory, Woven City will serve as a home for full-time residents and researchers who will be able to test and build innovations such as automation, robotics, personal mobility, smart homes, and artificial intelligence in a real-world environment. Building a full city from the ground up, even on a small scale like this, is a unique opportunity to develop future innovations, including a digital operating system for city infrastructure. With people, buildings, and vehicles all linked, and communicating with each other through data and sensors, we will be able to test connected AI technology both in virtual and physical terms. There's nothing new about automakers using vast plots of land to create test grounds, with artificial city backgrounds to test new vehicles. But what Toyota is proposing is a radical escalation of that concept, a real city with real people living inside the amped-up vision of the future of the automaker. The vision involves a lot of self-driving vehicles. Last year, Toyota first unveiled its e-pallet concept, which was described as a fully automated next-generation electric battery vehicle designed to be versatile and flexible for a range of mobility applications. They look like transparent cargo or containers on wheels that develop and shrink depending on their specific mission. Toyota aims to serve a range of functions, from traditional mobility facilities such as carpooling to less typical uses such as mobile office and shopping spaces, medical clinics, hotel rooms, and more. These vehicles will assemble in centrally placed squares inside Toyota's prototype city to sell merchandise or provide services. Toyota will extend an open invitation to collaborate with other commercial and academic partners and encourage interested scientists and researchers from around the world to work on their own projects in this one of a kind real-world incubator. Toyota commissioned Danish architect Bjerke Ingels, founder and creative director of the Bjerke Ingels Group, Big, to design Woven City. His team at Big has planned a range of high-profile projects, from two World Trade Centers in New York and Lego House in Denmark, to Google's Mountain View and London headquarters. Using solar energy, geothermal energy, and hydrogen fuel cell technology, the city, which is expected to be developed as of the beginning of 2021, is introducing a flexible network work of streets dedicated to different speeds of mobility for safer, pedestrian-friendly connectivity. This approach is incorporated or woven into 3x3 three three city blocks, each framing a courtyard accessible only through a promenade or linear park, and expanding in size relative to the program it will host. Toyota calls the woven community site a reference to weaving three different types of streets or pathways together, each for a particular type of consumer. There's just one street for quicker cars. The second will be a blend of low-speed personal mobility vehicles such as bikes and scooters as well as pedestrians, and the third will be a park-like walk for pedestrians only. These three street styles weave together to create an organic grid pattern to help speed up the test of autonomy, the company says. This is my personal field of dream, Toyota added. 
There's nothing new about automakers using vast plots of land to create test grounds with artificial city backgrounds to test new vehicles. But what Toyota is proposing is a radical escalation of the concept. A real city with real people living inside the amped up vision of the future of the automaker. The city is planned to be fully sustainable, with buildings made mostly of wood to minimize the carbon footprint, using traditional Japanese wood joinery combined with robotic production methods. The rooftops will be covered in photovoltaic panels to generate solar power in addition to power generated by hydrogen fuel cells. Toyota plans to weave in the outdoors throughout the city with native vegetation and hydroponics. Residences will be fitted with state-of-the-art human support systems, such as home robots, to help with everyday living. Homes can use sensor-based AI to track the health of residents, take care of basic needs, and improve their everyday lives, and create an opportunity to implement integrated technology with integrity and confidence in a safe and positive manner. Only full autonomous zero-emission vehicles will be allowed on the key thoroughfares to move people through the area. Autonomous Toyota e-pallets can be used in and around the woven city for transport and distribution, as well as for changeable mobile shopping. Both neighborhood parks and a large central recreation park, as well as a central social meeting square, are planned to bring the community together. Toyota claims that encouraging human interactions would be an equally valuable part of this experience. Left unsaid, of course, was something related to access to records, anonymity, or non-disclosure agreements that residents would possibly need to sign before agreeing to live in Toyota's up and coming business town. Toyota already owns the property it is planning to develop, but choosing a population when complying with local residential laws would certainly be difficult and not inherently something the business would be well suited to do. Because smart cities are so intrinsically linked to technology creation, it is unsurprising that large tech corporations are heavily involved in the construction and growth phase. Huawei, Google, Cisco, Amazon, Facebook, and more have all promoted different proposals for smart cities. Cisco was one of the first major tech firms to be actively active in the growth of smart cities. Back in 2009, they launched their Intelligent Urbanization Program, which was designed to help cities around the world incorporate technology into their urban planning in order to cope with growing urban populations and make city management more effective. Today, Cisco has established an entire technology division dedicated to the creation of smart cities. At the end of the day, smart cities are developing hand-in-hand -hand with tech giants and will have a profound impact on all dimensions of city life and management, from public safety to transport and emissions monitoring. As long as innovations take place with transparency, data protection and accountability in mind, smart cities will see brilliant changes in quality of life without turning everyday life into a dystopia. We will talk about why tech companies are moving in the direction of building smart cities in a future video. If you like the video, then don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with all of your friends.